All right, got another one for you here. So this is a 2020 Hyundai X7 i drive uh 40i did i say that right x drive 40i yeah the next one anyway i think it's a 3.3 so it says top off engine coolant close uh, message engine coolant levels low top off soon as possible so it seems to be the thing with oh it doesn't matter um even the older models that was 19 all the way up to nowadays i think 2021 even these will come off so we're gonna find out what's wrong and we'll do some uh physical check on stuff so let's take a look so the first one that you want to do is open the, the hood it's right down here near the left uh, footrest here so right there you click that twice two so twice so it tells you so let's make sure you do that so you're gonna click that and then you're gonna come open the hood Here, this should get a little. No, you just pull right up because this is uh powered, so you just pull it up. There you go. Let's find out where the refill is for these for this one model. Again, this is a 2020 X7 X Drive uh, 40i, so looks like this is where our spot is. Reservoir. So, come below. I think this is the um, expansion tank. And what I gathered on the internet, the expansion, the intercoolant is this one. It is a twin turbo. Um, like I said, in part of my research, they're saying that the twin turbo actually soaks up a lot of the coolant. So here we are. Like I said, this is calm below. I think this is the reservoir tank or expansion tank. This is the intercoolant. So we're gonna check both. If you haven't looked at my other videos, you also wanna protect the car with either a tablecloth of some sort, so that way, you're not scratching the side of your car as you lean over with your belt buckle or anything you would key chains that they would scratch the car so that's a little pro tip there adjust the lighting for you and let's take a look i think we have nothing in there yep we have nothing so after mixing up the 5050 uh, ht12 there's some coolants out there you can buy from your local automotive store but i don't want to mess around with it so i'm just going to make sure i get the correct one so i'm going to Pour that in here and then uh, we'll be done. And then it should cycle through as you drive the car, shut it off, turn it back on, and the error code will hopefully go away. The sensor for this one is actually down here. You follow the wire. So that goes the part that plugs into this housing sometimes can corrode and get all yucky, so it creates a poor contact. The only problem with that is this has to be replaced. So you would have to take this whole thing apart. But hopefully that's not an issue. That is just low, obviously, because as you can see from the side, there's nothing in there. Okay, so things you're gonna need before getting started. Uh, warning, fair warning. Do not work on a car while the radio is smoking hot. You're gonna have to wait these, you know, six hours to let the car cool down before you work on the radio. So be warned, I'm not professional. So I can't be held liable. If you're gonna do this yourself, you're doing this under your own risk. And this, these videos are for educational purposes only. It does not, in no way means I'm a professional doing this. So things you will need, um, an old tablecloth, gloves, a funnel, flashlight, razor blade, a rag, distilled water. Make sure it's distilled water, not spring water. You can get this from anywhere. Uh, Walmart, this is for like a dollar, dollar thirty-four for distilled water. And I mean, you can buy coolant from like um, an automotive store, but I'm a big fan of uh, OEM now, more and more, versus the aftermarket. So this requires HT12 antifreeze. It has the green cap. Um, I believe 2019, 2020, and above, uh, their coolant is green now versus blue in the prior years. This is not mixed. You're gonna have to mix it yourself. Gonna empty this out and put that in there that we can save this for later. All right, let's get started. So, try to clean off the cap so that way no dust, dirt gets in there. And I'm gonna check out um, why we're losing coolant. I'm gonna check for leaks. Uh, I'm gonna look at the obvious ones up top. So, you're looking for green, but this model has green coolant. So, I'm gonna look up top, see anything leaking. For that way, here I gathered on the research this car the twin turbo tends to suck up a lot of 
coolant. So I'm looking down there, down below, looking up top. I don't see no obvious green anywhere. I'm looking down at the radiators down there. I'll check the front. Um, the radiators, just look down here, where I've gathered from my research. Yeah, looks pretty good, right? All right, so we'll take this off and uh, see what we're working with. Of note, let me show you how you put this stuff back the way you found it. So these yellow alloys have, have to ma match up. So twist until it matches up. Okay, I'll clean off the top. Just make sure I get no dust and dirt over it. Same thing with the intercoolant up here. Twist it off. Get the Lucy ready. Here. The other research I found that they said if you find like white crust either here or the top of this that this may need to be replaced and this is easy fix. This is like cheap. You can get on Amazon like you get from the BMW dealership. Just be sure it's 40 rated, 140 at least. Whatever that means. It's count below. Tell me what that means. Let's do 140. So the way it works is see the min max? So minimum's way, way down there. So it's like a little slope up. You know, you can see it from this angle. It kind of slopes up like this. They say a step up like this. So if you see the, the fluid uh, below the word max, that means you're, you're just about right or you're at the minimum. But if you see it way above floating max, um, you're just about right. So right now I have nothing in there. You can see actually from the side. This is the best way to, this to see stuff. Is actually view it from the side. Here is the sensor. See that little two prongs sticking up? So two, two prongs sticking up. What I understand is it's magnetic and the sleeve meets with this one. So that's how it senses it, 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 enough coolant in there. So the plug goes underneath that, two prongs come up, and that's how it senses if there's an, enough coolant in there. And it's pretty tall, you can see there. It reaches the min max level. And then we're gonna clean off the top, make sure there's like nothing in there. And I'll suppose I'll look around too, and I'll see nothing leaking down there. I see some wiring, I see some hoses. Uh, I, I think this is the sensor. Uh, comment below, I could be wrong. I'm not a professional, I'm just trying to help you guys save money. And I'll flash this cross screen, how much would it cost to uh, have a BMW authorized dealer do this for you. Screw that. This looks like. So these are pressurized. I did notice you can't see it on camera. When I do go to pop this, I feel that pop as soon as I get to the last few threads. And same thing here. It is pressurized. That's what I was talking about. If you wanted to really check the system to make sure it works properly, you would use a um, pressurize it and I'll flash across screen what the, that would look like and what that would entail. I'm not gonna do that today. My wife needs this car to go to work. It's kind of early in the morning, that's why I'm in the garage, the garage. So let's see how much is in here or how much is not in here. So this one you can see, min max. So this is right at the max. See how the fluid is at the max level, that little step up. And I believe that's the sensor right there. All right, so just clean everything off, put everything back. I got a little surgical rag because I am in healthcare. Good stuff, it doesn't need a lint and it absor absorbs most stuff. It looks good. And I don't see no white crust like uh, some of the people I see on uh, YouTube land. I don't see that crust, so that means this cap is still great. Same thing with this one. Just snug because this is pressurized anyway. Yeah, so the best way to do this, I'm gonna pour half of this out. I'm gonna try to save this much as possible. It's, it's not that expensive, it's 35 bucks around there. So actually, yeah, 25 bucks around there. So I'm gonna save this coolant for later if I need to mix it myself. So I'm gonna pour half of it out and pour half of this into here. That way I get a 50-50 mixture. So I poured half of it out right there and because this thing was full to the brim, I'm gonna put half of it in there, okay?
it is green. Make another gallon out of this. That's why I'm gonna save the rest for later. If I ever need it. I don't have to go back to the dealer. All right, bottoms up. So that's what it should look like. See how it kind of, kind of hits the minimum and then it hits the max. So we've driven this car a couple of times and the coolant looks like it's staying right at the level there. You can see it with the light shining. It is pressurized, so you shouldn't open this while it's hot. So let's see if, uh, if that does the trick. We're gonna go to home screen. We're gonna check out the car. And we're gonna check on vehicle status. So everything looks good. Let's we're gonna start the car. So all green on above. All right, all done. So if you like this kind of content where I talk about personal finance and cost saving, this is definitely a cost saver. This would have cost you around 246, 278 to have a BMW kind of diagnose the problem, add coolant, and then be on your mirror right away at 278. So we did it for 35 bucks, I think with tax and everything. At least only $25 for uh, one gallon. But we would do that on our own and uh, refilled it. So again, you have to subscribe to the channel. And appreciate you guys watching this channel. I believe you guys are watching this because financial independence is possible when you're doing stuff yourself you know, through cost savings, investing, and building a business online through entrepreneurship. So I hope you enjoy this channel. I appreciate your time. I'll see you in the next one.